Ah, what a beautiful day, what a wonderful day. So good. So now I have a new message. I feel very much renewed. Since my last sharings, a lot of good changes happened to me. Changes that brought me to the core of my inner authority. So yeah, the first message would be that each of us are unique intersection point between all collective. And we can learn a lot from various connections, various teachings. But after all, all those different reflections and streams goes back to you, to your heart, to your inner authority, to your inner integrity, to your deepest heart resonance. This is everything. This is your path. You are the path, unique path of God. So no matter how everything looks outside, no matter how right some people or teachings or things may appear. It is still another paths. And first of all, you need to honor your own. And when you fully honor your own, you can see clearly your harmonious integrity with all others. And yes, there is no wrong. Each path is valid equally. And we know nothing. We know just very little in this physical focus. So unconditional love for all the differences is the wisest choice. And when you feel that unconditional love that also equals to freedom. Yes, you can clearly see your harmonious path, your harmonious relationship with everything. And uh, 
when you are following your 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 most felt heart resonance it is also very wise to always stay open open minded open heart to allow life itself lead you organize your way through all the synchronicities all you need is just to open to the most pure and most yes most true you can say highest intention that's it just open for the highest intention and then stay open surrender rest in the mystery and resting in the mystery brings forth all the miracles, all these magical synchronicities in your life that always leads you to the best, to the best version, feeling of yourself. So get used to the mystery, get used to the unknown, form the positive relationship to unknown to the, as the mystery, because mystery is exciting. To the silence, to the emptiness, where you where it feels like you are losing everything. So that's the opening for true miracles, for fresh and exciting opportunities in your life. And yes, part of that process is to face all your fears. So yes, go, go right into them when, when those fears appear. Just be with those feelings and love yourself in that feelings. Love yourself through those feelings, breathe through those fears, those doubts. Honestly, without trying to cheat, using all the wisdom, all the methods like to hug the un universe and get what you want so this is this usually makes like a short circuit effect because it's like avoiding you are still running away fro f from those things that you are not willing to face fully. All this 
madness of humanity, all this cruelty. And yes, all, all those things, all those seeds is within you. And you need to fully acknowledge them and appreciate them, learn from them. And then they dissolve, leaving you with freedom to follow your deepest heart resonance. So yes, it is always the best to face all those undesired, so to speak, things consciously within yourself. Give space, give loving awareness, give time to feel and see and walk through all those things. Because when you fully face them, yes, they dissolve in the light of your consciousness. Instead of trying to avoid them or to fight them, You're just pushing those things into your subconscious mind and from that those things continue continue to generate all these undesired experiences. So that's the irony of fighting. That's the irony of avoiding and of course uh, to to be really capable to integrate all these shadows you also need higher perspective you need to know yourself so yes it is always also the best to start from that to, to raise your energy and, and feel yourself as higher self. Connect to the perspective of your higher self, of your divine self, of the infinite self, which has no problem with anything, which is eternal always pure, indestructible, unconditionally loving. And that nat and then naturally, yes, the more you connect to that source level, the more that source level will will bring you down, so to speak, to integrate all those things that you uh, was not able to integrate while you were a child or so so on because from the perspective of i am this limited person yes it is it is very difficult to face the shadows of your ego to face various traumas but when you know your true self it is easy when it is easy to be vulnerable 
because you know that vulnerability is just an opening just an opening of all the defenses of your ego all the shells all the armors and when you can feel more deeply but at the same time it does not affect your true being so you can fully feel the feelings and we transform and when we integrate so the when when your deepest wounds are opened it is not for the torture it is for healing it is for freeing your light freeing your love and usually yes this is also erroneous that what we most desire we are most afraid at the same time because it is that unbounded unconditional love that infinite love that cannot be fully understood or managed controlled and and we so used to understand everything and to control everything so that's why we are usually afraid of of that love but also adding higher perspective to that that infinite incomprehensible love is that force that holds together everything all the universe all these molecules entire creations after creations that never stops only because of that love so you can take the shortest path of of true understanding through the obviousness of this moment paying more attention to the reality in this moment in this presence and you will find this subtle wisdom this subtle message that says everything is perfect everything is okay everything is good everything is possible you are alive and still alive your existence is infinite so you can trust it fully fully open your mind your heart 
and trust in that openness. Because sometimes we start to doubt our openness. We start to worry. Am I open enough? Maybe I'm not aware of anything. Maybe I'm missing something. And, and in that regard, we create more and more doubts and confusion. So to balance that, you need to bring that component of trust. Trust in the openness in which you already are. And yes, in that obviousness of the moment, in that deepest heart resonance that's everything you need to know and all else becomes obvious becomes apparent in that same moment and forgetfulness is also your most mysterious power. It is conscious power from the higher level of higher self. So forgetfulness is not some kind of curse, some kind of accident. We always forget for the reason to experience the journey, the harmonious journey of our evolution. So trust in the forgetfulness, in the natural forgetfulness and in the natural unfolding and in your natural resonance in the moment. And stay open for that resonance to also change, to adapt. That's the secret of health, of not getting old, is to always stay with open heart and open mind. And yes, also sometimes with the forgetfulness where can be imbalance and that is usually called ignorance when we buy into various limiting beliefs. So we are artificially creating more and more darkness so to speak in our experience and and when we lose our sense of that of that guiding light of our heart and of course that guidance is not lost it always works just when it is filtered through all the different negative beliefs it translates as an ease stress illnesses suffering so that also always works for you to let you know where are those imbalances in your perception?
so when you clear all those negative ideas and again open for the highest purest intention for you and for all creation when you can fully trust in the natural forgetfulness and remembrance And yes, it is, it is important to always reconnect, restate that statement that I am surrendering for the highest good of all. And then just be open for the life to like to blow you like a wind where it needs to blow you don't resist go with the flow because it is your flow your integral flow because yes in this world there are many different winds and streams of unconsciousness so to speak of various loops various limiting habits So yes, if you are not consciously devoted for the highest, all those lower, so to speak, streams will take you over. And then again, you will suffer until you wake up. And yes, good news, always good news is that it is always good to remember that no matter how everything appears, no matter what happens, consciousness is always ever expanding. Always maturing. So it is very, very crucial in these times to pay attention to pay more attention that no matter what happens outside inside consciousness is always maturing always growing always expanding and with consciousness love and compassion and wisdom and all the best qualities so that's the good news truth always endures lie always exhausts love always endures and hatred always exhaust so be on the truth and on the love and meet all these opposites Merged with, merge with them. Yes, it is not about fighting. 
It is not about running away or somehow discarding or Oh, I forgot the word. It is long time I didn't speak in English. <laughs> so, yeah, I recalibrating again in this video. But you get the point. It is about merging. It is about making love. Because yes, yin and yang in all creation fundamentally is for making love. We always need day and night, forgetfulness, remembrance. Brief in, brief out, so yes. These polarities always works as one. And it is easy to come back to that natural relationship. When you just meet what arises with unconditional love and allowance for all the things to naturally integrate in that love. And it is all happening within your consciousness, within your experience. So yes, it is all about your relationship with yourself as all that is. And you have all the power to choose it. to choose your natural well-being. So yes, I feel content with this sharing for now. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for applying. It is directly from my experience. It works. For me, it brought me so much miracle, so much happiness. So you can also adapt it, apply it, own it with your own unique way your own unique resonance and yes most of all always trust and uh, deeply deeply feel into 
your inner resonance. Because that is your most reliable, most loyal friend and teacher that goes with you all the way, all the way. So much blessings and love.